This is how to work an electroplating problem. Consider the following cell. It involves chromium and chromium 3 plus in the anode compartment and cobalt 2 plus and cobalt in the cathode compartment. And we've got a standard state cell potential of plus 0.46. And that's fine. Some electroplating um, has positive voltages, some has negative. So this is a spontaneous electroplating. First question is, how many milligrams of cobalt would be plated on the cathode if a current of 0.3 amps is drawn for 1.6 hours? Okay, we have to get from time to an amount of material. So, I'm going to start with my 1.6 hours and I'm going to note that one hour is 3,600 seconds. Okay, that's my first ratio. My next ratio involves amps, which is a coulomb per second. Okay, 0.38 coulombs per one second is my amperage. Now I am to coulombs. All right, now what I want to do is get to moles of electrons. To do this, I'm going to use the Faraday constant. There are 96,485 coulombs in one mole of electrons. So this is known as F, or the Faraday constant. Okay. Now, the next thing I need to do is figure out how many moles of electron do I need to process a cobalt. And you may notice that, you know what, it goes from cobalt 2 plus to cobalt. So that is one mole of cobalt for every two moles of electrons, because it is a two electron transfer. And finally, let's see, I, it would be good to get mass, right? So one mole of cobalt and let me look up the molar mass, which is 58.93 grams of cobalt. Okay, now this is incredibly long, but all the units cancel out to what we want. Hours cancel, seconds cancel, coulombs cancel, moles of electron cancel, and moles of cobalt cancel. So when I multiply the, all this out, I should be left with some answer in grams, which I can easily convert to milligrams. And I get 0 0.668 grams, which if I multiply it by 1,000, will give me 668 milligrams. And please note that this would only be good to two sig figs, so technically 6.7 times 10 to the second milligrams should be my answer. Okay. The next part of this asks, what is the chromium 3 plus concentration when the cobalt 2 plus concentration has dropped from its starting value of 1 molar to 1 times 10 to the minus 4th molar? All right, I am going to need the balanced reaction for this, okay? So my anode reaction, I notice, is going from chromium solid and it is becoming chromium 3 plus aqueous and that ought to be a three electron transfer because oxidation occurs at the anode so we're good all right the other one should be a reduction reduction occurs at the cathode so that's cobalt 2 plus plus two electrons going to cobalt solid hmm. I'm going to have to do something about this two electron, three electron thing. I think you know what. I'm going to have to multiply the top reaction by two times and the bottom one by three times. So three, six, three, and two, two, six. All right, now my electrons cancel. So when I add these reactions together, I should have three cobalt 2 plus aqueous 
plus two chromium solid going to three cobalt solid plus two chromium three plus aqueous. Okay. Now initially looking at our conditions in um, the top it looks like the cobalt starts out at one molar and the chromium starts out at one molar and these I don't care about they're solids okay now this is one of those back out the delta rule questions uh, my chromium 3 plus concentration is going to grow my cobalt is going to drop and it's going to drop to 0 0.0001 molar alright well if I know initial and I know final I can figure out the delta rho so this is going to be a minus 0.9999 molar okay and this don't forget my stoichiometry I'm going to have to divide by 3 and multiply by 2 so this should be a plus 0. Point many sixes molar and so that is 1.6667 molar okay um, just thinking about the number of sig figs that we got going in this this is really only good to the hundredths place so I guess my answer should be 1.67 molar okay the last question asks us what is the cell potential at this point? Okay, time to whip out that Nernst equation. E is equal to E naught minus 0 0.0592 over N log of Q. All right, E cell, I was given the standard state that's up here. That is 0 0.46 volts my electrons transferred is 6 from my balanced reaction my log of Q let's see I need to take my chromium concentration 1.67 and I need to square that and I need to take my cobalt concentration which is 0 0.0001 and I need to cube that so let me put that all into my calculator and I get that my voltage is plus a 0 0.34 volts when all is said and done. Okay, well that's how you do that.